TIFU in giving a presentation today which was a part of my PhD evaluation. Using a throwaway account as some of my colleagues are here. Edit. Please say something. Don't just upvote. I want someone to say something to me so I could go to sleep. I had my candidacy today and because my research hasn't been going well. I was anxious. For those who do not know, a candidacy is basically part of an evaluation process in which a PhD candidate is supposed to give a presentation to his jury. This jury decides if the candidate is doing well enough and whether he, she should be allowed to continue. Pretty standard process across the globe. I do not remember me being this nervous before. So, I had my presentation ready, which was supposed to be 40 minutes. To get rid of this anxiety, I took some pills that, loosely speaking, brings me into relaxation mode. I took two of them and that too without any breakfast. This was the first time I took two of them at once on empty stomach. These made me super calm and I almost forgot all my worries. One of those worries was finishing my presentation on time. I started presenting and forgot about the time limit. Would you believe how much extra time I took not 5 minutes, not 10 minutes but 40 extra minutes. I was supposed to finish it in 40 minutes and ended up speaking for 40 additional minutes. I am looking back at the recording now as it was online and boy oh boy. This is embarrassing. Nobody stopped me and I had no idea of time. Whatsoever. I did pass but this is now a lifetime funny, embarrassing memory. I have no one around to discuss this and I do not want to. So posting here. TLDR. TIFU by crossing my presentation time way above what I was supposed to. Commenting because you asked. Never deviate from your normal routine during important events. Your normal routine should be enough to get you through whatever you are doing. Competitions. Exams. Etc. If it isn't enough, change it, but don't change things the day of. Doing so runs the risk of introducing change that can negatively affect you. Even things like eating breakfast before your exams, when you don't normally do so, could give you IBS or taking medication that you don't normally use can harm your ability to focus or forget things. You passed. A win is a win. I'm wondering why you would double up on your medication before a key presentation if you'd never done it before. Seems silly. Take the win. You now have some valuable learning that will help you when you defend. Congratulations. They just think you were a little disorganized and probably zoned out for a big part of it. You passed. If they said anything it was probably that they were glad you finished because they stopped listening 10 minutes in and wanted to get to lunch. Does anybody watch those videos? How many have you watched? You did pass. Kudos to that. Sometimes things go astray and, though we know it is not the end of the world, the feeling is still there. Anxiety sucks. Last week I did a job interview for a substitute professor position. They asked me to prepare a 30 minutes class. Lesson. To present in person to the committee. By the trainings I did at home in front of the mirror. I was doing it in exactly that time and had full control. The interview was Monday. I decided to visit my mother during the weekend and forgot my antidepressants. Sunday comes. I get a bus at 22. Arrive at the city where the interview would be held at 03 and stood there. Chit-chatting at the bus station with a local worker until the appointed time. At 10. I was tired. Sleep deprived and highly anxious. I spoke so fast during the lesson that I presented it in 15 minutes. I feel that I was all over the place and did no logical connection between the topics. Very poor performance overall, as logical sequence of the lesson and time management were the main things being evaluated. 40 minutes? Mine lasted at least 2 hours. 
I'm surprised yours was expected to be so short. Anywho. 2x the time doesn't seem significant to me given that the expectation was that it'd be so short. Also, those are soft limits, usually put in place by the program to give some guidance. As long as your committee stayed engaged and didn't complain, then they were on board with it continuing at the pace it was. But next time I would recommend not altering your state of mind with medications, substances. The risk is too great. It's really not as bad as it feels. I just think you had a lot to say about your research and there's nothing wrong with that. They could have stopped you at any time. In a while you'll see it as a funny story. I doubt anyone will even think about it tomorrow. They're not worrying about it so you don't need to either. Also you passed. Which it great. Well done. My wife once gave a presentation of her PhD research at a major convention. She was really nervous but her professors thought it would be good for her to do it and it was her work so she should be recognized for it. On the day, she was worried that me being in the auditorium would make her too nervous. So I said I'd wait outside. And I genuinely intended to. But just before her presentation, I snuck in at the back of auditorium. It was huge, to me anyway, and packed with 300 plus people, mostly scientists, professors, other PhDs, and the grunt squaddy at the back. There was a giant screen behind her, and they gave her a laser pointer to indicate the points on screen she was talking about. Now she'd never used a laser pointer before, so instead of on, off, she just kept it on the whole time. Being at the back and hence at the top of the auditorium. I can see the whole show. And I notice every time she turned. To the screen or back to the audience. The front row instinctively started ducking or bobbing their heads in a mini, Mexican wave, motion. It was only after this happened a few times I realized every time she turned. She was sweeping the laser across the eyes of everyone in the front row. But she was so focused on her presentation she didn't notice. Anyway, she received huge applause from the audience. So I'm guessing that means it was good even though I didn't understand a word of its smirk. And no lasting harm done. Almost. Except 30 years later I still remind her of the time she blinded the most senior faculty members. At one of the world's most prestigious universities tears of joy. Haha <laughs> perfect, your story was so good they did not want it to end. Congrats. 20 years from now no one will know this story. Others will be doctor asking grit questions for help and never know this happen. Congrats. 90% of academia would talk forever about their field. S. Of expertise if they lost track of time. Don't repeat the mistake and nobody will give it a second thought. Going on for longer than you were supposed to and keeping them engaged enough to not cut you short. Probably reassured them of your competency. Take the win. If they really wanted you to stop they would have asked you to hurry it more. Is candidacy like the dissertation defense, except earlier in the process, before you're done? You broke the rules and still passed. How many of those pills do you plan to take for your next presentation? Learn from this situation. Be grateful that you passed. However, ensure that you are kind to yourself and work on your well-being minus any medication to help you. Get through tough times. Focus on techniques that improve your well-being. E.g. box breathing. A walk outdoors or meditation. When you have important tasks or duties. Reassure yourself by speaking to yourself. E.g. nothing in life is permanent. This feeling I have right now will pass. And I will feel better. FYI. I am a scientist with a PhD had a lot of life experience just sharing some pearls of wisdom. 
A percular question came to mind that was answered unknowingly as I finished reading this. How high is too high? Well, this. What is medication name? You accomplished the objective. You passed the candidacy. Let the rest go. It's not worth the energy to regret it or be embarrassed by it. Congrats, you passed. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.